at what point are we going to decide that enough is enough? New tonight, this viral video showing a frustrated Tulsa teacher throwing a desk and yelling has sparked anger about a deeper issue. Some high school parents, teachers and students say they're fed up with low morale in their schools. The Edison Prep community says it's just really had enough and they're demanding change. Two Works to reporter Tony Russell is live tonight in Midtown where the group met to find a solution. Tony. The parents, the students, the teachers, they can't and they won't tell me they wanted to hold a closed door session. But in a nutshell, I had a chance to speak with one parent and he tells me this is a result of anemic funding and even schools like Edison aren't immune. Edison Prep, one of Oklahoma's top high schools, is also reeling from years of low teacher pay. I think that there is a lot of stress in the classrooms and both on the teachers and the students and the administration. And I think that there has been many ideas to help talk about how to relieve that stress for both students, teachers and administration. Recent events like this Edison teacher throwing a desk in a classroom has brought the high school community to a breaking point. Teaching is a much harder job than a lot of people give it credit for. I think that uh, most of my AP teachers especially are dealing with issues of pay and are now having to work two jobs which is causing a lot of stress on the teachers. Students want to know what they can do, parents want to know how they can help, and teachers want to know who supports them. It also is a bigger conflict within our state and it depends on our students' parents to vote for people that are going to fix our schools and like help teachers gain more pay so there can be more respect for them. Chris Moore, who held the meeting at his church tonight, is pointing the finger at Oklahoma City. What you're seeing in these instances that you see in the media are symptomatic of a funding issue as it sort of moves its way through a system. Yeah, you've got you know, real shortages in places where you need good quality people. Teachers are hoping something is fixed soon. What we want to know is where do we go from here? One third of our schools in Oklahoma are on a four day week and they're waiting for TPS and they're wait waiting on Oklahoma City to stand up and follow them. Show the state and the legislators and these parents that the time has come for drastic change. And tonight's meeting, mostly informational, but I'm told the group's going to take that and give it to the TPS administration. TPS sending us a statement saying they're ready to work and hear from them. Reporting live from Tulsa tonight, Tony Russell, Two Works For You.